explain one very, very simple concept, and I'll explain to you to read that much. Let's briefly, before we get into our experiment, let's revise a little bit uh, of something that you already know. Who knows the definition for matter? What is matter? Yes? Your name? Sorry? Meaning. Winning. Yes, winning. What is matter? Alright, so Winnie is giving us two things. Winnie is saying matter is anything that has what? Space and what? Mass. And mass. Okay. Now, I'm interested in the mass part. What is mass? Aha, uh -huh. let me see hand. Okay, I've not pointed at anybody this side in a long time. Yes, sir. Faith, freedom. Faith, correct. Yes, faith. Mass is the amount. Okay? Amount of matter. Okay? In an object. So now, this amount or simply the quantity is the number of particles in that particular what? Object. Are we together? Yes. In this case, today you have an object which is called a ball. Have you seen the ball and ring that you've been given? Yes. You have a ball. So now, that ball that you have, inside that ball, there are particles, which I think was it Irene who mentioned them or somebody, I don't know, I can't remember the name well. Gene. Gene. So now, we have these particles. So many of them put together. Not yes. Because when you talked about matter and the three states of matter, you said in a solid, the particles are so close to each other. Not? Yes. Okay. So in that ball that you have, there are so many particles like this. Alright? Yes. Now, these particles, when you apply heat to them, what happens? That is a question I want us to answer today. No, 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 don't give me the answer yet. That is the answer we want to find from the experiment you're about to do. Okay? Yes. We want to know the growing in size of this ball after heat has been applied. What is it that is happening inside here for this particular ball to grow in size and shape? Are we together? Yes. That is the basis for our experiment. That is why our experiment is saying we want to investigate the expansion of the solid by using what? A ball and ring. To start with, you have a ring and a ball. And you've seen that. At this point, I think you can see it now. Uh, you've seen that when you get, when you get your ball, when you get your ball and your ring, before you do anything to it, our ball is easily going through the ring, right? Yes. The particles in this particular ball are comfortably going through the ring. But we want to see if we subject this ball, okay? If we subject this ball to heat, what is going to happen to this particle? And after that happens, is this ball still going to what? Go through this ring. Thereafter, no, no, don't say no yet. You're not sure. We've not done the experiment yet. Thereafter, we are going to conclude. You are going to tell us the reason as to why this ball is unable to go through the ring. Are we together? Yes. And our reasoning, our conclusion should come from the fact that something has happened to this one particle. The growth in size and volume of this ball has everything to do with what is happening to us, the particles. Are we together? Yes. Now, I'll give you one simple example. Okay? Imagine it's very cold at the end of class. Very, very cold. Very cold. I'm going to let me give you a different example. Let me not use you as an example. How many keep chickens at home? You keep chickens at home? Yes. Broiler chickens? Yes. Okay. What happens to broiler chickens when it's very cold? Uh, what happens is that when it's very cold, they end up dying. Before they die, what do they do? Uh, yes. Uh, 
That's why I'm in a test, Mr. First of all, before you give us a solution as a group, yeah. and you share the information. Yeah. Whatever is going to be presented is coming from the whole group, and not one Have we concluded? Oh, okay. Okay. Have we concluded? Before we heated the bowl. Uh huh. Let's be quiet. Before we heated the bowl, it could go through the ring. Okay. And then when we heated the bowl, it couldn't go through the ring. Uh -huh. After the bowl was put in water, it cooled and it contracted and okay. was able to go through the ring. Okay, now, what is your conclusion? What made the ball not to go through? The, the ball expanded. The ball expanded. Yes. Okay. We, 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 we very much appreciate the fact that the ball expanded. But there's something that I told you. I said, what is happening to the particles in the ball for it to expand? The particles were spacing up because they had enough heat. Okay. Thank you very much for that answer. Group two. Go ahead. According to the first question, it's saying keep the ball unless it goes through the room with an agent with the observations record. And the answer is the ball went through the ring before it was heated. Because the the particles which were in the ball they were closed before and hence it was a small thing. Mm -hmm. And to the second it's saying keep the ball. Yes, hit the ball and let it go through the ring again and write your solution. Um, after we heated the ball for two minutes, uh, we observed that the fire went through the ball and hence making the molecules inside the ball to, to space up. And hence the space that is being formed is making the ball to go to the larger inside. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And after we, as in conclusion, when we put the ball, it expanded. It pushed, and then um, it was able to go through the ball because it was how through the ring, and because it was pushed. Okay. Group three, your turn. Perfect. Which means. Uh, the molecules which are in that same object were intact. Now, when the second distraction was that, let, hit the ball and let it go through the ring again. So when we hit the ball for two minutes, we observed that the ball didn't go through. And that was because that the, the molecules get spaced each other. They, they departed from each other. It doesn't mean that the molecules inside increased. No, it means that the molecules inside just expanded, gave space. For example, that example that I gave for the chickens. Um, like the example that I said, the chickens depart when it is hot and they come close when it is hot. So when we, and then we put the hot, hot ball into the water. And because of that, it was cooled down and the molecules came together and, and made the way they were. They came close, as we defined a solid. A solid... Okay, okay. thank you very much. The ball was heated, it was able to go through the ring. And after, the, after we had heated the ball, the intermolecular particles had expanded so the ball could not go through the ring. And we concluded that therefore when the particles are heating, they spread out and this causes the volume and size to expand. When the ball was put in water, it cooled down and so the particles became close to that, just like before it was heated. Okay, thank you very much.